Hi everyone, this is becoming a bit of a journal really, but um, I just thought I'd tell you of some updates to the solar panel power system. I've been meaning to do some on it for a while, but I just haven't got around to doing it, because I've had so many other things to do. But there's been a bit of a change really. Um, the actual system itself, as in the inverters, the charge controller, all that sort of stuff, that's not changed. The battery bank has not changed, there's been no changes there. Um, but what has changed is the way that I'm going to measure um, different things. Um, so, of course, with solar, you could measure the solar volt, uh, you know, input voltage, the solar input amperage, which goes to the charge controller, which is there, and then from there, the current goes to the batteries. Um, so you could actually monitor that as well, the, the uh, battery voltage and the current going to the batteries to charge them. Um, and you know, I've I've got different ways of getting around this, and. Um, up here you can actually see a voltage sensor, well it's actually a voltage divider but I use it as a sensor um, to set to read into the Arduino uh, how much voltage and well yeah how much voltage is coming in uh, to the system through PV so yeah that's going to change now over there you can see that there's a, an ACS712 um, Hall Effect Current Sensor so both those two there are measuring the solar voltage and amperage. However, there's going to be a change here, and I'll explain in just a second. So, um, we'll come down to here, and you can see that I've shoved in a current shunt. And that current shunt is a 200 amp current shunt, and I'm going to use that to measure current uh, flowing to and from the batteries. Well, actually, from the batteries to the inverter. So I'm going to use that to measure the current. I was using an ACS758 but the thing didn't last so yeah I had it in place for a few months and it just stopped working um, and I just didn't know what was wrong with it so I thought well I'll just keep it simple and use a current shunt but um, but actually current shunt itself um, being able to read the output into an Arduino it's not 100% simple itself uh, however I'm working on that so um, there's a change there as well. Now, if I get into what I was actually going to show you in this video, um, I was going to show you how I'm going to replace this. So this is the solar voltage and the solar amperage um, sensors, and there's a light sensor there as well. But I've learned something very interesting, that this um, charge control device here it's got a little port, so if I just try and get a bit closer to it, it's got a little port there, and it's an RJ45 port. Now, through this port, it actually goes to this monitor over here, and through the monitor, you can find out various things like the, uh, if I just, there you go, 137 volts, that's the solar input voltage, the battery voltage, and load, I'm not going to go into load, but over there you can see next to the solar voltage you can see the solar amperage and you can see what that is after it's been stepped down now these four variables or parameters or specific you know whatever you want to call them statistics I can actually extract them I've learned how to do it so like I said this RJ45 cable goes from the monitor to here and I got thinking well if the monitor can get those uh, statistics then maybe I could somehow um, reverse engineer this thing and find out how and um, I actually didn't need to reverse engineer it I did quite a lot of research and I found out how to do it so what I've done is I've got an RJ45 cable there and then it goes down to this um, uh, oh if I can just it's a splitter and that's only arrived today actually it's an RJ45 splitter it's not a modem it's not a switch um, no, it's not a hub, it's just a, a simple splitter. In other words, it gets the eight pins from there and basically replicates it twice. Anyway, so I've got the one cable, uh, which is this grey cable here, going all the way down here onto the monitor so that the monitor works. Now the other cable, which is this one here, the grey and yellow one, I've got a big reel of Ethernet cable here and it goes to a bit of a project. This is a um, 
what is it? It's a serial to TTL. Um, well, actually, it's an RS four eight five to TTL converter. And um, and what's special about that is basically this little thing makes it so that I can read from the device, which is there, read it into the Arduino. And um, that's quite important, and it's really quite a cool thing to be able to do. So what I found out about this unit here is that it uses um, RS-485 and it uses a protocol called Modbus. So if I was to program the Arduino to be able to manipulate using this Modbus protocol, um, I could get any of that data that's on there, and possibly more, more hidden data. Um, so yeah, there we go, just a bit of an update. So that's where the project's heading now. Um, and I'll probably let you know when it's done. Thanks for watching. Bye.